So my name is Karine Nahas. What I've been doing lately is trying to save the history of what used to be part of Lebanon. And I did it on a painted level. So I think in these houses there were two different types of motifs and design. Some were super elaborate and complex and extremely refined and others were very primitive. This is a primitive motif. Regardless of whether it's primitive, whether you like the colors or not, but the paints were all pigments and they were all water-based and the same exact techniques were used here as well. So basically what we did is when we had patches already there, we cleaned them like you clean a painting and we preserved them uh, with like rabbit glue. The only like mistake I think everybody has done in every house I've been is like they see a wall and they scrape a little bit and they see paint underneath. So they take like the sharpest thing that they have and they start scraping. And by doing this, they cause a lot of damage. When you take paint off, like let's say I wanted to take, I want to take paint out of this, there are meshes that you put on. There's a way of delicately taking it off to not to damage the underneath. So this distressed look has a lot, also a lot to do with the way the walls were cleaned. You know? Because what they did, they just painted one on top of the other. So depending on the force, so what you see here is really what's left over, over the years, the different tonalities, but the proportions are the same and the feeling of it is the same. Now, funny enough is many people ask you to do this on a wall that's completely white and it's crazy the amount of work that it is. First of all, your paint needs to be mixed on a palette and you need to move it depending on the corner so you cannot make a bucket of paint and say okay this is it and I'm just gonna go with it right the variation and the tonalities uh, so basically what that means is on a wall like this you have at least 15 buckets of paint in front of you so you need to really know how to mix your colors and then you need to also understand that when your colors dry, they give you a different effect. And because you're working with things that are extremely soluble, because all these walls need to breathe. So in other words, let's say I want to make a marble. I cannot put an oil-based paint, take some thinner, throw it on it, have like effects happen, and there I'm done. Here I have to add it on. It's not a removal process which is how most things are treated decoratively or whatever, you know. It's an addition. So you need to be patient, that's for sure. It was a great experience. And not only my part of the job, I think everyone involved here, we were literally all in the same room at the same time. So we all had to like respect each other, but it, overall it was a very good experience and I'm really happy I was a part of it.